Hello everyone, I am Palak Biriwala, a health coach here at SugarFit. And today I'll be answering one of the most asked questions is whether I can eat fruits if I have diabetes. Well, the answer to this question is not as simple as the question might seem so. To understand whether you can or you cannot have it, you first must know what fruit does and what does it contain. Well, yes, fruit does contain a good amount of carbohydrates and fruit sugar or fructose in it, which does increase your sugar level. But that is not the only nutrient that fruit provides. Fruit also provides us with a lot of micronutrients and phytochemicals, namely vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. And these antioxidants are great for your body because they will prevent you from having chronic illnesses like heart diseases, stroke, all of these issues because it reduces the inflammation in your body. So yes, fruits are not only carbohydrates and sugars, it is a much more complex food. It also has fiber. This fiber actually slows down the digestion of the food and hence manages the blood sugar level, preventing it from spiking a lot. Now we also need to understand what fruits to take and how much to take. Well, another factor is glycemic index and glycemic load. These two indexes basically tell us how fast a food will increase our sugar levels depending on how fast it is digested and then released into the bloodstream. So it is important to eat fruits which are low glycemic index and which also have a low glycemic load because these will not increase your sugar levels a lot depending on how much you are eating. Well, there are four things that you must keep in mind. One, that the fruits that you eat must be fresh and not canned or preserved because canned fruits are actually stored in sugar syrup. So they take away all the nutritional factors and they also have added sugars which might actually cause a huge spike in your sugar levels. So fresh fruits or frozen fruits are the one that you should go for because here the nutritional benefits are all intact and they do not have any added sugar. Second thing, portion size. You must know how much to eat. So a diabetic can eat two servings of fruits a day where one serving is half a cup of fruit. So always make sure that you are not going above this limit on a daily basis. Third, you need to eat your fruits whole and not juice them like fruit juices or smoothies. The moment you are juicing your fruits or making it into a smoothie, the fiber content of the fruit reduces and hence the sugar levels will start spiking and it will affect your daily sugar average. So make sure that you are eating your whole fruit rather than any juice or smoothie. And definitely be aware of the smoothies and juices that are available in the market because they also have added sugars to it. The fourth thing to keep in mind is that you must not eat all your fruits at one go. Always distribute these servings of fruit through the day. So maybe you can have it in the mid morning and in the evening rather than taking it at one go together. First, you can have fruits which have the edible skin to it. So fruits like apples, pears, peaches, all of these can be taken especially because the fiber content is intact over here. And this is going to slow down the digestion of the fruit and also release the sugar more slowly into the bloodstream, preventing any major spikes in your sugar levels. This fiber also aids in keeping you full for a longer period of time, hence helping in weight loss. Second, you must eat brightly colored fruits like berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, cherries. All of these are excellent for diabetes, especially because they are so brightly colored because of the antioxidants. And these antioxidants are going to reduce or fight the inflammation in your body that is caused by chronic diseases like diabetes. The third category of fruits that you can have are citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, sweet lime, grapefruit. All of these contain vitamin C which helps in boosting your immune system. Now what happens in diabetes because of the high blood sugar levels that slows down the process of wound healing in your body. This vitamin C will help fast in the process and the fiber present in the citrus fruits again helps to maintain the blood sugar levels. So you can have this at any time of the day whenever you feel like taking something sweet. The fourth fruit that you can have is apricots. Apricots are low in carbohydrate and they also have a lot of fiber content and antioxidants present. So these are going to fight the oxidative stress or reduce the oxidative stress that is caused by high sugar levels. 
Fifth is kiwis. Kiwis are a great choice for diabetes, especially because they are low in carbs, high in potassium, and also has some water weight. So it not only helps in hydrating your body, but it also helps to keep the blood sugar levels in check. How does it do that? It contains a compound called inositol, and this increases the sensitivity of the body towards insulin, hence reducing the blood sugar levels. The next thing that you must keep in mind is the glycemic index of fruits. So fruits which have a glycemic index of less than 50 are considered healthy and they do not cause a major increase in your sugar levels. So these can be eaten whenever you have a sugar craving or you want something sweet. What are these fruits? These fruits include apples, pears, peaches, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, cherries, raspberries, avocados, plum and grapefruit. High glycemic index fruits are the ones that will increase your sugar levels if not eaten in the correct portion size. If you are eating them in excessive amount, it is going to cause a sudden huge spike in your sugars. So make sure you are eating these fruits in small amount and in moderation, mainly being watermelon, muskmelon, papaya, pineapples, mangoes, chikus, dry fruits like raisins, dates and dried canberries. So if you are somebody who is suffering from diabetes, please include fruits in your diet as they contain a lot of nutrients like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fibers and all of these help or provide a lot of nutritional benefits to you. The only thing that you must keep in mind is the portion size so be very very mindful of how much you are eating. Make sure that it is a whole fruit and not a fruit juice and always make sure it is fresh and not canned or preserved. If you follow all of these tips and then include fruits in your diet, I am sure that you will enjoy them while maintaining your sugar levels. Thank you for watching.